this country. When history, when story is told and history is written, that period of Obasanjo's rule will be regarded as a, very, a golden era. Golden era in the history of Nigeria. Obasanjo, my first contact with Obasanjo was in 1970. When we surrendered, Obasanjo was the person who, took, who actually made the world to end peacefully. He's a man of history. God has destined him. Without men like Obasanjo and Gowan, it could have been a different story. Because Biafra was not ready to surrender. But they realized, because the work were continued. Well, we were not ready to surrender. Even if they were bringing the whole weapon all over the world, because we were convinced we were not well treated. He's a very great man. And recently, recently, I want to tell you, Your Excellency, your position in national issues, we appreciate it. We in Ohaneze, we appreciate it. I am speaking to you as the chairman or councillor of elders of Ohaneze and Debo. We appreciate you and we support you and we're very proud of, of you. So, now, I want to, I, I saw the a trader association coming here from Lagos. I want to let our people in Lagos to know that on Wednesday, I called a meeting of Ohaneze Council of Elders worldwide, and we spread the events in Lagos. And I want to tell you that we have uh, people who attended up the branches in America, in Canada, in Europe, in London, and Nigeria. We have resolved, and I want those from Lagos to go home and tell those in Lagos, we have resolved that never, never again can we allow anybody to take the life of any innocent Igbo person. All of us are going to fight the person. We are going to fight the person. Never again. We are in Nigeria, and we have invested in Nigeria. Our investments are so much. We are not going to take the question of people telling us to go. We are not going anywhere. And I want to tell those in Lagos to realize that uh, uh, there is no war between us and Yorubas. Yorubas are we talk, they're just political rascals, and we are going to handle them. The elders have directed Secretary General of Ones and Dibu, Emuche, to set up a commission of inquiry to find out things destroyed, people are going to pay. Meanwhile, I want to say I thank you for this opportunity. I'm very grateful. And I want you to give Soludo support. Give him support so that he will continue to concentrate on his job and do more. Thank you very much. Thank you. Vintage Chief Dr. Emmanuel Iwayan, Chairman of this occasion. Thank you very much, sir. And um, I would dare say that um, our father, Chief Olusheko Basanjo, is superintending here. Nay, our father, no, sir, once again. We appreciate you and we appreciate everybody around you and the roots you have. Thank you, sir. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Governor, permit me to inform us and welcome uh, Mr. Anduka Obaibena. Uh, a media guru of uh, the, 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 this day, and of course, Arise Television, that is also doing this program live, ladies and gentlemen. Can we appreciate a live television, Arise? Yes, thank you, Unduka Obaibwena. We are proud of you. 